Polls can be misleading, of course, but when 95% of the journalists polled say they want the chairman of the BBC to resign, Richard Sharp, then it becomes very difficult to see how Richard Sharp can claim that he has the trust of the company behind him. In addition, there's now um, a report that suggests that Sharp has made donations to the uh, well, to organisations that are critical of the BBC and deeply supported, deeply supportive of specific um, areas of the Conservative Party. The Institute for Policy Research, the IPC, which is a very secretive organisation without a website. Uh, Richard Sharp has donated money. £20,000 to this organisation in 2017, 2018, maybe after that. This organisation was deeply critical of the BBC's coverage of Brexit and also promotes the idea of the privatisation of Brexit. Now, it's not to say that uh, Mr Sharp endorses the ideas of the IPC, IPR, we don't know whether he does or whether he doesn't. In a way, it doesn't matter. What matters is whether he actually told the uh, Digital Culture, Media and Sport Committee about his donations. Did he tell the BBC when he was appointed about his donations to organisations which are critical of the organisation that he is now running? The whole thing sort of stinks. And it's not whether he's done anything wrong. I don't care. I really don't care whether he's done anything wrong or not. He's not one of my friends. Why would I care? What I care about is whether or not he can command the trust of the company that he is running. Quite evidently, he cannot. So the honourable thing to do would be to resign. He should have done this weeks ago. But I think... He, like a number of other people, connected with the current Conservative government, has lost the concept of integrity. Maybe he thinks his own position is more important than the authority of the government. Because, no doubt about it, he is so surely chipping away at the authority of the government, as is Dominic Raab, as are the leaders of the DUP, as are all the other people sniping from the edges. The government is in a perilous state at the moment, and our country is in a perilous state, and I think it's part of our duty to try to make sure that things move smoothly and that we prepare the way for any future government of whatever colour. We need to sort things out. We need to, if we need to get Brexit done, then we need to get Brexit done. If we need to reverse Brexit, then we need to reverse Brexit. It doesn't really matter. The important issues are not the immigrants crossing the channel. The important issues are the cost of living and whether our mortgages are going to rise even further. Those are the important issues that concern ordinary people, Mr Sunak. Not immigrants crossing or not crossing the channel, and certainly not playing around with rhetoric like Suella Braverman. Indeed, I imagine the only thing that really concerns Suella Braverman at the moment is whether or not she's going to have a seat for the next election. That's assuming she can actually win the seat.